Dear students, welcome back to Smart Biology Tricks. In this video, we are going to learn about an important topic that comes under the subject called Microbiology and Microbial Techniques. So this is the content of the syllabus. So in the unit 1, we will be studying about the scope of the microbiology and history of microbiology. In unit 2, the different structures of the microorganism including virus, fungi, algae, bacteria, will be studied. In unit 5, sterilization techniques, different types of sterilization techniques and important terms that we have to understand in the microbiological field that also will be studied in the unit 5. Now we will uh, discuss in detail about unit 5 that is sterilization techniques. So before starting the uh, video, we will define what is meant by sterilization. So sterilization is the process of completely removing any forms of microorganism present on the object. So forget about the definition that is present in the slide. So sterilization means simply it is removing any forms of living organism or biota simply called as biological organisms present on any surface of the object. The object might be a human or animal or plant tissue or uh, laboratory glassware or uh, sterile uh, uh, equipments that are used in the hospitals to treat the patients. So the object might be any kind of thing. So some technique we are applying because of the technique the biological organism present on the surface of the object will be completely eliminated. There are different types of sterilization methods are available okay that we will discuss one by one so here you can see as i said uh, the different types of uh, sterilization techniques that includes heat based method such as autoclaving dry heat sterilization flaming chemical methods that uses disinfectant sterilizing agent and also physical methods like radiation or filtration can be employed for the effective uh, uh, output for the sterilization. So you can see in this chart, the sterilization is a method that is majorly divided into two categories. First one is physical method, second one is chemical method. So under the physical method, it is again further subdivided into three major types. One is heat based, second one is radiation based and filtration myth filtration based always remember a same type of sample cannot be sterilized by all the different methods based on the type of sample quality of the sample or exposure to the technique the particular method is adopted for the effective sterilization if the uh, sterilizing material if it is enzyme or hormone we cannot employ a physical method say for example heat method we cannot employ as the heat method will destroy the enzymes and hormones so that method cannot be adopted so other type of non uh, harming method only we have to adopt right so under each and every method different types of examples are there so coming to chemical methods, chemical methods are further subdivided into two, two types. One is gas sterilization and another one is liquid sterilization. In the upcoming slides, we will discuss in detail about all the different uh, uh, individual types of the sterilization methods. The importance of the sterilization method, what if you ask, the sterilization is very, very important in many different types of laboratory. It might be starting with a simple microbiological laboratory or cell biology laboratory, cultivation of animal cell or IVF clinic, I can say, uh, any basic laboratory, PTC, plant tissue culture laboratory, immunological laboratory. In all the type of laboratory, the sterilization is very, very important to protect the sample from the contamination and also to avoid uh, contamination to the uh, people who are all working in the laboratory. So sterilization is very very important to protect ourselves and also to protect our samples or to, to do some research 
right for that sterilization is very very important and also it is utilized in different laboratories food processing laboratories and other industries where maintaining a sterile sterile environment is important so when wherever the sterile environment condition is highly required so in that area the sterilization technique is highly employed so if you see the sterilization techniques are very much important in the animal cell culture laboratory like uh, the growth medium cells and other uh, supplements for the growth of the cells has to be filtered through the filter sterilization filtration so then only the cells will not get contamination it will grow effectively so to attain the uh, proper cell growth the animal cell culture laboratory that require filtration type of sterilization all the growth supplements and nutritional media for animal cell culture techniques should be subjected for filtration type of sterilization and if you see in this picture this is an example of cross contamination that arised in the microbiological laboratory so if we are not properly uh, cleaning the glassware and also the media it may have a chance the bacterial plate will have multiple different types of colonies it also contains uh, we can say the uh, white color patches are considered as a actinomycetes and pigment producing bacteria is there mucus like bacteria are also growing the two different types of bacteria are growing in a uh, petri plate so which means it is a contamination so if the effective sterilization if it is not properly maintained it may lead to uh, affect the growth of the microbial cultures in the environment and uh, in this picture you can see this is the example of moist heat sterilization this instrument is called as autoclave so this autoclave that maintains 121 degree celsius inside the container so that whatever object we are keeping inside that will be completely sterilized even the spore forming bacteria also will be killed during the process of sterilization so this sterilization is very very similar to the pressure cooker that we are using in our home so pressure cooker that cooks some vegetables food materials that we keep inside so similarly it is a resemblance of pressure cooker but it is a large volume and also it maintains the pressure 121 degree celsius that is 15 that is equivalent to the 15 lbs pressure unit this is an example for moist heat sterilization the name of the instrument is called as autoclave and coming to the next picture if you see this is called as filtration so with the use uh, usage of membrane filter the uh, animal culture media supplements and uh, uh, some hormones which cannot be processed with the moist heat sterilization can be effectively filtered and it will be uh, removed from the different uh, possible types of microorganism present in the sample so this is the uh, thing called as a membrane filter so this membrane will be placed in between the containers and then in the top container we will be loading the sample and due to the pores present in the uh, this membrane filter the the media or liquid sample that we poured on the top will get filtered so these are the membrane filters different size pore size of the membrane filters are available according to the type of sample and the effective sterilization that required we can choose the pore size of the membrane filter okay and this one is like uh, another sterilization method that is used in the microbiological field and next we will discuss about the term called disinfectant disinfectant is a chemical substance or physical agent that is used to destroy inhibit growth of the microorganism usually it is applied on the surface of the object say for example uh, during the covid pandemic time 
people were started using sanitizing their hands so most of the sanitizer that contains the disinfectant chemical agent that destroys the growth of the microorganism on the surface of hand and the body you can see the examples for the disinfectants floor cleaners toilet cleaners and some sanitizers are listed here those are containing some disinfectant chemicals so disinfectants are two types of uh, uh, disinfectants are available one is alcohol based and ammonium compound based so these are uh, uh, disinfectant that contains uh, any type of alcohol say for example ethanol propanol or isopropyl alcohol this will be mixed in the disinfectant that will be used for the killing or reducing the growth of the microorganism on the surface of the body and chlorine based disinfectants also available phenolic phenolic disinfectants also available and hydrogen peroxide this kind of uh, disinfectant you can see whenever you go to the hospital if any person is uh, getting uh, septic condition of the wound uh, in the hospital uh, the people the, doc, the clinical people they will use hydrogen peroxide to wipe the wound so this hydrogen peroxide is highly toxic to the cells so uh, the septic condition uh, contains some pus uh, so thus that pus has been produced because of the activation because of the activity of some pathogenic uh, clinical microorganisms so that cells microorganisms will be completely killed by the action of hydrogen peroxide and the next term is antiseptic it is also an important term that is defined as it is a substance that is applied to the living tissues such as skin or mucous membranes to reduce the risk of the infection or septic condition so these are all the examples of uh, antiseptic uh, chemicals uh, if you see the detol savlon so these are the liquids that are commercially available which contains antiseptic agent to avoid the growth of the microorganism on the surface of the skin sometimes internal applications also uh, can be applied so coming to the types of antiseptics so first one is iodine based antiseptics are available example is providin iodine and also alcohol based antiseptics are available and again hydrogen peroxide also this comes this comes under the antiseptics also chlorohexidine it is an example benza sure 